And here it is, TomTac's EVA blow molded iPad cover for the 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Let's take a closer look. It's got minimal branding on the front that's black and it's covered in this ballistic nylon. It has a convenient molded handle on both sides of it that allow you to grab onto it and pull it pretty easy as well as a nicely woven padded handle. Around the side, you'll see we have some YKK zippers with red poles on them. They do actually say YKK on the zippers, so I know that they are. And they run around the tracks very easily, even on the corners where most cases have an issue. TomTalk has been able to eliminate that. This Ballistic Nylon has held up really well to being placed inside and out of backpacks, as well as uh, slid across the ground, airstrip, desk, you name it, it's been there. Um, this is gonna hold up really well. It does offer a decent amount of protection for your tech as well. Being a blow molded case, it is just sturdy enough that it is acceptable levels of protection for all of your tech inside without being just a fixed hard case. Like it does have some give to it, which is also really nice. Opening up, the case, you'll see we have a couple of different sections here. The first section here is a deep pocket that's felt lined and it runs the entire length of the case. There's also this elasticized pocket with a semi see-through mesh that goes all the way to here. It allows you to put slimmer items in over the top of other items, which is really nice. On this side of the case, we have a flexible elasticized cable and electronics organization panel. What's really nice about this is it has 11 different size loops that are all specifically designed to keep different types of gear from moving around while you carry everything. It has three pockets here on the bottom that are also made out of elastic nylon material that's thick. But the nice thing about these is that they return back to their shape. And so if you want to mix and match different items that you put in here, you're not gonna have to worry about your, your items being loose and falling in and out. On the other side of these loops, there is more felt lined padding here. So if you have uh, either like a Samsung SSD or you have uh, something you don't wanna get scratched in here, let's say you just wanna take off your watch and throw it in here or take off a pair of sunglasses and throw it in here. You can do that, it'll be protected and you won't have to worry about it coming into contact with anything hard. The entire case is well padded and it keeps all of your electronics away from any hard surfaces. On the back side of this, there is a felt line section here, and it provides ample protection for the screen should you place your iPad inside here without a case on it. Now moving over to the actual iPad holder here, this is large enough to accommodate a 12.9 inch iPad Pro with a Magic Keyboard, a Surface Pro X, and a Surface Laptop. The regular 12.9 inch Pro iPad will have an extra 0.8 inches on the side and 0.6 inches on the top that'll allow you to use a variety of third party cases should you choose to go that route. Let's go ahead and take a peek at what I'm carrying here on my day to day. We'll go through my loadout and I'll explain what I carry and why. Okay, let's go over what I carry. Starting off with the obvious, this is a 12.9 inch iPad Pro, the M1 Max model with the Magic Keyboard on it. Now, I carry this in this configuration all the time. However, until I was paired up with this TomTalk case, I did not really like the protection on the edges here. So it does fit, it's a good fit. And see the case offers this half nylon sling sleeve here, as well as a retention strap here in a nice accent color. And it keeps this nice, and still, I do trust this. If you were to put your iPad in here without a case on it, I will do that so you guys can see exactly how much room you have to play as well as how that 
very well designed. Fleece cover will protect the screen. So you could carry it without any case. This could be your iPad case if you're somebody who likes to travel light. And as you can see, you've got plenty of space on the sides and top for a third party case here. But like I said, I usually don't carry my iPad without it. So we're gonna throw it in there with it. If you decide to put it in this way, I notice that this piece here does cover up the camera which is a nice little added bonus because now you don't have to worry about anything scratching your camera if it were to find its way in between here somehow. All right. Now, as the iPad switches over to USB-C, we have a ton more accessories that we could use. SD card readers, hard drives, cables to connect your camera directly to the iPad. It's become more of a digital Swiss Army knife. So let's go ahead and load this panel up so that we can use our iPad to its fullest potential. Starting off with my Samsung SSD. This is a one terabyte version. It's ruggedized. And I really like the way it fits in this pocket because it, it keeps it still from flopping around. And then I can take the cable and tuck it in on either side of the SSD. And then I take the excess and put it right under there. So now that's nice. I know exactly where everything is and I don't have to worry about missing my cable. The next thing I wanna take a look at is an SD card reader. Being a content creator, I have a ton of these. I actually carry two of these. And sometimes SD cards can be finicky, so I like to keep an extra one just in case. That way I know I'm covered. And this one I put right in here. Next, I keep a true red pen, and I keep this for signing regular documents. A lot of times I will keep a notepad in here as well as my iPad. And I also have the Apple Pencil, which is my number one recommended accessory for the iPad. You are selling yourself short if you don't have this and you have an iPad Pro. So I highly recommend getting one. And those fit perfectly inside the bottom compartments. Now, I also carry an AirTag and anything that matters to me. Um, these are great for tracking and they allow me to find my stuff should I misplace it. So this works out very well. I usually keep my AirTag there. I also keep a Starware SD card reader as well, just in case again, I have some kind of issue where I need, uh, I have a finicky micro SD from a drone or I need a second one to lend somebody. You can be an on the spot hero if you carry two of these. Pro tip. The next thing I carry is a USB-C to USB-C cable. This one is Apple branded. And I do this so that I can charge my iPad. A lot of times I will also charge my iPhone along with my iPad. So I will show you guys how I do that in a minute. The last accessory I keep in my elasticized loop area is my AirPods Pro. These are another great accessory, whether you're riding on the train and you just want to zone out for a little while with some Netflix, or you want to use these for a conference, these are really, really nice. Um, I would recommend these as well. And as you can see, this panel keeps everything really secure. So I have all of my gear really secure. I can travel with my iPad and I don't have to worry about losing anything, which is really good. So back to charging both my iPad and my iPhone, this is the 35 watt dual charging brick both USB-C by Apple. It's very nice, it's a minimalist design. The prongs do fold up, allowing for easy storage. And this is the primary one that I carry with me every day. Because my iPad starts to become more and more like a computer and do more and more heavy tasks, I also have carried a dedicated mouse so that I can do batch file editing and speed up my workflow when it comes to more intensive programs. Sometimes the trackpad on the Magic Keyboard starts feeling a little small, and this is a great time to break this out. It's Bluetooth compatible, so it just connects to the iPad via Bluetooth, and the battery life is really good. Next, I have my Alpaca pouch here. This is the Pro version, and I just use this to keep my cards in order, gift cards. I spend a lot of time at coffee shops and you can also dump some SD cards in here and a little accessory if you'd like, or two, or three. 
and that just gives you a nice place to keep all your cards without losing them. You don't want them running around in here. And it's bright orange, which is helpful for travel. Tom Tuck also offers this in a bright orange that's very similar to this color. And I do like bright colors, but for me, um, I like to keep my expensive electronics in a much less conspicuous case, so this works out perfect. Next, I carry my ProMaster cleaning cloth kit. I just use this to touch up iPhone screens, camera lenses, anything that gets smudges on it. And last but not least, I have my SD card case here. It's looking quite vacant at the moment because uh, we've been shooting a ton of videos and they all filled. But I usually keep this with me because SD cards are expensive. Typically, I'll throw a notebook or something over here in this area. But this is how I will carry this uh, from day to day. And as you can see, everything lines up really nicely. I have uh, my iPad here, all my accessories, everything's organized so I can find it. And then I can just close this up. And the best part about this case is that these zippers, they don't, they don't fight you. Zippers are the number one pain point for me when it comes to cases like this. This is really nice. TomTalk was founded in 2016. They operate in 108 different countries and they make a really nice innovative product for technology that in terms of uh, storage for accessories and protection for the devices themselves, they do a really, really good job. I really enjoy testing this product. Uh, this video is not sponsored by TomTalk. They've had no input in the script of this video. They did provide this unit to me free of charge for testing. However, had I known how good it was, I probably would have bought it anyways. This is the TomTalk iPad tech case. If you're somebody who travels or somebody who likes to go and work from home in different locations, this is something I would highly recommend for you. It's a must buy for me. Thank you.